It's all quiet on the industrial property front. More than a week after Singapore's first cooling measure on the sector kicked in. Most market experts are confident that industrial property prices will hold steady. Well, they say it may even increase by up to 15% this year. But others believe the sector is set for a correction. Linda Hong with more. For the first time, Singapore is imposing a seller stamp duty on industrial property purchases. Property sold within the first year will be levied 15%, 10% in the second year and 5% in the third year. The latest cooling measure on industrial property came about as speculative activity shot up last year. Industrial property prices also doubled over the last three years, outpacing rent increases. Experts say unlike the additional buyer stamp duty on residential properties, the seller stamp duty won't apply if a property is sold from the fourth year. There's also no additional costs immediately after buyers sign on the dotted line. The government only wants to wipe off the speculators but not the investors. Right? So since there's no increase in cost to the industrial investment, uh, you probably see about uh, one or two months of digestion period. So I would say uh, this year increase will not be as strong as last year, 20 over 30 percent, but uh, in the range of 10 to 15 percent. Uh, industrial prices should stay in positive territory this year, probably increasing at a rate of around 5 percent. But some experts believe Singapore's slowing economy could hit industrial property prices. Prior to these measures, there's already a huge oversupply in industrial strata units in many areas like Woodlands, Kaki Bukit, Inobi, in Jisun. So with these measures, definitely uh, it will impact the market in terms of prices. I see a downward trend, say 15 to 20% in 2013, 2014. New land supply released by the government for industrial use could also dampen industrial property prices and rental. Last year, cash-rich investors lured by higher returns from industrial property pushed the number of industrial property transactions to a record high of 3,460, 77% higher than in 2011.